Now here's the thing. I don't think it was the same beans you cooking. But I'm getting beans. Those he was cooking was smelling good. Smelling good. So as I was saying about these kings. So now that I'm going into it. Ask the Lord to forgive me because I was thinking that okay I'm gonna go preach this message and it's gonna be simple it's gonna be easy I just go ahead and preach you know like I normally do so what I got was a rule awakening that there's different levels in preaching yeah, I, I was saying what God wanted me to say, but I didn't do the correct studying so that I can bring out what needed. And thank God, he, got a ram, he had a ram in the bush. I didn't realize I had written out what the scripture was about. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, let me finish this. I had realized I had written out what the scripture was about. And I did not even read the scripture because my thing was the verses is too many verses from one to 11. People are gonna be boring, but here's the thing. It doesn't matter. I'm preaching God's word so that people will understand God's word. And the concept of that particular scripture was to let people see that Israel was going through this drought because they wanted these kings and God gave them the kings and God wanted them to see that these kings was no good. And look, they in bondage. They wanted a king so bad. Now they're under the reign of these kings and these kings is not doing what God said do. These kings are not doing what God said do. They're not obeying God. They doing what they want to do and they take they making Israel sin against God and provoke God's anger. That's that's what God wanted to bring across to the people. And just like I said, the Lord told me to preach to the sinners. So in other words, the sinners that would have been in the church yesterday would be able to understand what happens when you listen to people. That, 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 that's not doing what God say. God going to send grace and mercy to you, but you going to have to suffer the consequences because the leader was wrong. So now everybody got to suffer because the leaders is wrong. And you want to be obedient because this is a leader that's over you, but they ain't even obeying God. So, I ask God to forgive me for not going in depth so that his full word could have been understood and I could have brought it out better than I did. You see? And um, there was so much behind that wilderness. They was in that wilderness. And I could have also brought in the 40 years that they was in the wilderness. I don't think that was it, but that was maybe part of it. But I could have brought that out as well, but that wasn't in God's plan. So now I'm going through that now. And I'm seeing that there was much more within this scripture with <laughs> Jerum, Jerumum, <laughs> Ahab. Jezebel. So. And that's what I'm doing now. I don't know if the Lord is going to give me the opportunity to bring that word again. But if he does, I'll be more ready. I'm taping it. 
Not so much as videoing, but I'm audio taping it. So I can fall back on it. I got a lot of mail. Look at this mail. So I'm gonna go eat my beans. And I tell you, this is enough beans. That he cooking, I'm gonna get some of that too. Yeah, some gravy. Hey, I'm gravy. I know I'm gonna be gassy. Pick up Lizzie. I'm gonna go and get them kids. Oh man, I forgot to get so that's right a check. Show you right now. Oh let me see if I got some some tissue where I can go to the bathroom. I forgot to get tissue while I was out. All right, I'll be back. 